So hey, and welcome to another video. And welcome to week two of my month of challenges. Title is just something else. This week, I'm going to be focusing on self-care because I need it. A lot of the time, we, me, I <laughs> get so busy, I tend to forget to actually take a step back and just, you know, take care of myself outside of the usual, you know, bathing and eating and brushing my teeth and stuff like that. I didn't really know where to start, so I decided to look online and try and find a seven day self care challenge that someone had already done the work for me. But you'd be surprised. There's mostly like 30 day self care challenges. I found one by a blog called blushessentials.com.au. I don't know how it's .com and .au, but whatever. And it is called the seven day self care challenge by Jess McKenna. And out of the few that I found online, this is the one that I liked the most and I'm going to be doing this week. The only one I already know I'm gonna have a problem with and will probably end up skipping will be the prompt for Sunday, which is digital detox. Unfortunately, that is the day that I film my podcast check it out if you haven't. <laughs> so it is pretty much impossible for me to do a digital detox when I need to be online with my co-host. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Let's get started. So Thursday's prompt is write it down, write in your journal or diary, or just on a piece of paper, three things you're grateful for and three things you want to make more time for. I'm not really a journaler, I don't keep a diary or anything, I don't mind writing, but it's just not my thing, so this will be interesting. Hi, and before you ask, no, I won't be sharing what I wrote, because it's, it's private, and it is for me. For Saturday, the prompt was to connect with nature, and of course I wanted to go to the beach, but unfortunately we weren't able to. So instead, Patrick and I headed up to the Patsy T. Mink Central Oahu Regional Park, bought some food from some food trucks and boba, of course. We sat down and talked, and it turned out to be a really good afternoon. <laughs> Today is Monday. I am supposed to cook for myself. Koa, the prompt says, make yourself a healthy meal today. Be mindful when preparing and eating it. Perhaps it's a recipe you've always wanted to try. The issue is that I don't feel like cooking and it kind of would defeat the whole purpose for me to do something that I don't want to do when this week is supposed to be focusing on self-care. So instead, what we're gonna do is I'm going to make myself my favorite breakfast, even though it's lunchtime. <laughs> it's hellish, it's okay, um, and it's delicious, and I like it, and it makes me happy. So that's what we're gonna do today.
today's prompt is something that I'm actually looking forward to. It is to go on a solo date, which is nice. Um, this is something I do every once in a while. Um, I don't usually call it a solo date. I just go out by myself and enjoy myself. Since this is a date, I thought, well, let's dress up. Let's be kind of cute today. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear. getting ready for bed right now. Tomorrow's prompt is something interesting. Um, to get started half an hour early so that you can have time to start your day with something that you enjoy. I'm fortunate enough to have a schedule that allows me to start my mornings pretty much how I would like them to. I don't have to rush to get anywhere because I mostly work from home. There's not really anything else that I could do like for this prompt that I don't already do. So I guess for my last self-care prompt, I'm not gonna do anything different. I'm just gonna live my life. <laughs> All right, a week long self-care challenge, done. Overall, I really liked it. It was nice to have like little prompts to do every day um, and think about myself. I wouldn't say it was anything crazy or life-changing, but I guess it was a good reminder to take it slow once in a while and just enjoy myself. It was a pretty good challenge. If you do want to try it out for yourself, I will link the prompt list down below. The spa night was probably my favorite. Um, it was nice to go and do like those more like pampering sort of things that I don't get to do very often. Maybe in the future I'll try another self-care challenge that has a little more depth to it. <laughs> this one was very kind of like surface, like eat, journal, spa day, digital detox, which as you saw, I didn't actually do one. I knew I wasn't going to be able to. In general, I've been trying to spend less time on screens like when I really don't need to. Um, and it's been nice. Other than that, I am looking forward to my next challenge, which is a week long food challenge. Every day I'm going to be cooking something different, something new, I think. Yeah, I think most of my recipes are stuff that I haven't tried yet and that I really want to. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye.